<laughs> well, there's more to this than just a toy addiction. It's, it's teaching people to grow feathers on their back. When you walk out in the morning and it's cold, and when you, when you take a cup of coffee and you walk outside and you stand there with one hand in your pocket and you just stare at the horizon and you look at the windsock and you look at where the mist is laying in, in, down in Leitau Valley and, and you just start to feel totally in tune with nature. Looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. A trike is essentially a powered hang glider. It happens to be have two seats in it, and it happens to be a light sport aircraft that's certified and a certificate of pilot flies it. Cats, get get out of there, Blanche. Cats are always around on uh, just before takeoff, so I got to watch the prop. But uh, a couple more years, maybe I get them to fly with me. Clear prop. I do every day is purely based on what the what the sport is starting to become and the sport is called aero trekking it's a connection that you have to people and places where we're all learning from one another and the end result in the aero trekking world is the ability to take the machine take the knowledge and travel with it and that plays to a very huge part of people's adventure driven portion of their minds and their hearts Somebody's got to take take the reins here and offer this to the public. This is huge. This is a huge sport in Europe. You can fly castle to castle through several different countries. America is supposed to be the, the place of, of freedom, and, and now we have that uh, in aviation because it, these types of aircraft are available to the regular guy. I've been flying professionally for eight years. I have just over 3,000 hours of actually teaching people to fly. I have no idea how much time I have chasing coyotes. Just another day at work. Just another day at work. Absolutely love it. You know, I worked and worked for a long time to try to grab an office with a view. I think I found it. <laughs> 